And I'm Cynthia Aguirre. As the president digs in, cities all over the state are working through logistics on housing children. Here's the latest now. A massive protest symbolically shut down Border Patrol facilities in El Paso. Senate Republicans joined Democrats vowing to pass a new law that would keep families together. And leaders of our nation's largest companies, Walmart, GM and Boeing, are urging President Trump to end a policy that puts parents in jail and children alone in detention spaces facilities. Our Rebecca Lopez traveled to the border. She's in Combs. This is in far south Texas where the government is holding the youngest children and many of the girls. Rebecca. Well, here in Combs is where the Catholic Church tells us that they are holding little girls and also babies and security is tied. In fact, they call police on us twice just for trying to get video outside the facility and they certainly won't let us go inside to see how the girls are doing. A deacon, though, who is a volunteer at that place told us a few months ago he started seeing young girls as young as six years old arriving and also babies. It's one of two places in the valley where we have been told they have sent these girls no one can tell us how many are actually inside and our calls to the people who run it have gone unanswered. The Catholic Church has deacons that go in every week to pray with the children. They say it is very difficult because the girls are crying and asking for their parents. The deacons are not allowed to hug the children, but say that these girls come running up to them and wanting to be held. Uh, they have been reading Bibles to the little girls and also praying with them. Every single child gets up and begins to pray to God in a loud voice. Please, God, send me back to my parents. I want to see my mommy. I want to see my daddy. Or please take me out of here, God. In El Paso today, a small grassroots rally turned into a large protest with marchers symbolically shutting down the Customs and Border Patrol facility. They chanted, free our children now. We will not go away. This is not okay. Police had to shut down streets. This is one of uh, this is one more show of opposition to the decision by the Trump administration to criminally prosecute everyone who crosses the border and separate children brought by their parents. There is also a lawsuit that has been filed in California by LULAC to try and get a federal judge to intervene, and they are expecting a ruling any day now. Reporting live near McAllen, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. All right, Rebecca. President